Ball, Congratulations, Coach. You guys had a tough uh, three quarters, and it came out in that fourth quarter, and your kids really looked tough uh, down the stretch. Yeah, we didn't play real well. Give Belvedere North a lot of credit. We jumped all over them early. They could have laid down. They did not. That's something we need to learn from, though. We can't let a team get all the way back the way they did. They can go on a run, but it needs to be cut to two or three buckets rather than um, even it up like they did um, before the half. Uh, but we responded extremely well. We had some guys that had some great individual efforts, but all in all, it was a really good team win. Yeah, I know you had a 12-point lead and 10-point lead in that first quarter, kind of like Guilford a little bit. Did you say anything to them at halftime? Um, it, it was, we, you know, they threw us off with that um, uh, diamond and one. Mm -hmm. Uh, we haven't seen that all year. We've talked about seeing it, waiting for someone to do that against G, because obviously he really leads us well uh, on the offensive end. Uh, so that threw us off. It took us a little while to adjust to it. The, the problem was, and what I'm a little bit disappointed about, we let that those offensive struggles affect us on the defensive end for a while. Then we got it back together in the second half, and it didn't matter what we did on offense in the second half because I think we were good enough defensively to win. And your other kids knew that they had to take over. Dimitri had a good night, especially on some big threes and also on defense too. Yeah, his his shot selection has been fantastic the last month, and, and he's, he's gaining confidence from behind a three-point line, and that makes him pretty tough to guard. Um, um, so he, he's steadily working towards a complete game, and then um, one day he's going to get there. And Travis Buckwater a little under the weather. You could tell he's a little green around the gills, but boy, he plays good when he's not feeling good. Yeah, other than his facial expressions, you wouldn't have known <laughs> no, because yeah. he played fantastic. He, um, he was a great force for us on both ends of the floor. Um, took advantage of the ball pressure that our guards were putting on people to run in the passing lanes and really mix it up defensively. So I'm very impressed by the way he was able to play, especially um, in light of the fact that he wasn't feeling very well. Uh, congratulations, you guys get a trophy now for the challenge, 6-0. and and You guys played really well, especially in those challenge games this year. Yeah, we're, we're proud of the fact that the six largest margins of victory all belong to us. So um, that we can walk away feeling, feeling pretty good about the way that we dominated that challenge. It was, it was nice for us to um, um, push ourselves. And, um, you know, the next step for us as a program is start pushing ourselves uh, against the top teams in the conference. And, and we've made some strides this year in that area, but uh, we have a long way to go. You get ready for tournament. This uh, Class 3 tournament over here in Belvedere, it's going to be a tough one. You guys are right in the mix on that, too. Yeah, it's extremely difficult. Um, you could argue that um, the team coming out of our regional is going to be far and away the favorite in the rest of the sectional. Um, so it's, uh, it's not going to be easy, no doubt about it, but it's not supposed to be. I guess your reward is Belvedere. That's not a very nice reward sometimes. Is that a pretty nice team over there? <laughs> yeah, I don't know who's going to be more of a challenge for us, Belvedere or, or Lutheran. They're both yeah. outstanding teams with really good athletes, and um, we've got a work cut out, but, but we believe we can do it. Congratulations, Coach. Okay, thank you.